Hi friends, if you saw my last tutorial, you saved a model that you trained. You will not need to train it every time, you can actually reuse it. So before we begin, uh, before we uh, log into RunPod, to save some time, let's go to Google Drive and um, take our trained model and um, upload it. It usually takes some time, so it's better to do it before um, you actually go to RunPod. So here is the model and it's been uploaded, it's finished. And then we'll press get link and uh, make sure it's anyone with the link and we will copy the link. And then we'll make a notepad uh, file and just paste it here. We'll go back to helpers and now we will copy the second two lines and go back to the file. And here we will only copy this value that is kind of between those um, two lines and we'll paste it over here and then we will delete this line. Um, did I delete it? Yes, just deleting it all, making sure that it's just this two lines. And we, we, will, we will leave it, we will keep this um, node over here and now we can go and run um, a GPU, I will log into my profile and I will check secure and of course there is nothing available because we need at least 24 gigabytes of RAM and we'll go to community cloud and here it is, I will try this one. As you remember we first choose RunPod Stable Diffusion and then we choose 6060 and continue. Make sure it's 120 gigabytes over here and deploy on demand. And we will go to our pods. It's usually at the end, so I can see it's here. It's still being initialized. And we'll press connect. Connect to Jupyter Lab. And we'll just wait a little bit until it connects. Here it goes. And again, we will go to Python 3. If you uh, watched previous tutorial, that shall be familiar to you. And if not, um, you can go uh, back here and copy the first line and control V and run. So we are just cloning Dream Booth and when the number is here it means we can just go into this folder, open it up a little bit and go to run port uh, Jopana. And here we are. And just as before, we can uh, start with building new environment and just wait until it builds. But now it's so much easier because we will not have to run all of those steps. All we actually need to do is to add our model that we already trained here. And uh, wh while it's still training, we can create a new folder called trained models. And um, when you create this folder, you can actually check um, if it's called trained models because sometimes Dream Booth, they change um, they, they change how they call things. I hope it won't happen. But if it does, you can just go here and see what it's called, trained models. And this is where you will need to put your model. But as you remember from previous tutorial, if we just drag and drop our model here, it will take probably 
an hour or even two hours because it's very slow so the fastest way for us would be to uh, download it from Google Drive and to do that let's go back and let's see yes this is finished you see the star so now we can actually um, download our uh, model the one that we trained so if you press here and press this button insert cell above and then go back to the notepad and just copy these two lines and again control v and run so this will copy your trained model the one you trained and uploaded to um gym booth it may take some time let's just wait here it is so you see how quick it is it's really fast and the model is only two gigabytes which is really great if you remember how large were the models that we used before but when we train a model on our photos it's usually this size and that's pretty nice and that's pretty pretty quick so when this model uh, downloads you will see it over here and you see this is the name i started naming my models with a person who it is which is chris me and then i include that celebrity name that it was trained on because as you remember we will have to use that name when we prompt so I was using Anya Taylor Joy because apparently <laughs> that's the most alike face um, to mine. Um, so let's see, it's it's right here. So we just drag and drop it to train models, and we go inside, and here it is. So now we don't need to go through any of the steps because we already have all of that all of this code was only needed to train the model but we already trained the model so we don't really need it so now we can just generate images with our trained model because we have it in trained models all we need to do is we need to change this file name with the name of our um, uh, trained model and i think the easiest way to do it is actually to go to your trained models where you have it on your computer and uh, if you press rename you can make sure you select all of it including the the C ckpt and control c and then when you come here you can just select this and control v so this is over here and now you can just run it oh i forgot something so i will press <laughs> stop because i forgot to use an actual name that i used for training the model which is Anya Taylor joy and then yeah let's try it so here we can go back to gym booth and as you remember the results will be in um, something called output so let's just wait and see what happens here it is and you can go to outputs and you can see how images just come here they will be four images you can wait for four of them but i will actually download two of them and just see what is happening and if if those look good yeah it's working so as you can see it's super easy to um to reuse the model so you will have more images over here you can also download them and see 
uh, all you need to do is basically to um, up, uh, to upload your model to Google Drive, then to transfer it to your DIM booth and just run the prompt. So I hope this was helpful to you and you can always um, upload more models. So all you will need to do is to replace that file name um, and just run it and it will, it will work just fine. Uh, hopefully it was helpful and I'll talk to you soon.